Hello Fox. Today I'm going to tell you a story of a guy who was looking for entry level data analyst position. But because of not having an experience and a lot of competition in market, he wasn't able to find this position. Then he took another approach and he started applying for reporting analyst position. And after weeks of effort, he found himself working as a reporting analyst. And by working around three and a half months in the same position, he finally landed a job as a data analyst. And this person is none other than me. So if you are someone who is looking for entry level data analyst position, then you should also see this reporting analyst position as your first stepping stone. In fact, there are many data analysts in market who started their career as a reporting analyst. So in this video, we're going to talk about three things. Number one. What's the difference between the data analyst and reporting analyst in terms of skills and in terms of job responsibility? Number two, why you should see this reporting analyst position as your first stepping stone? Number three, what's the difference between the data analyst and reporting analyst in terms of salaries? So, if you are interested, please bear with me till the end. Now, let's talk about the first point. What's the actual difference between the data analyst and reporting analyst? Now, suppose say you are working for a marketing company and your company has a five different clients. And for this five different client, your company is making some five different kind of dashboard, which represents sales by area, sales by manager, revenue, and so on other things. So it doesn't make sense if your company make these five different dashboard from scratch at the end of every month. So instead of that, what they do, they ask the data analyst who is working in your company to write a code which extracts the data from the database, transfer the collecting data into Excel file and from that Excel file to the Tableau dashboard or Power BI dashboard. Now, at the end of every month, reporting analyst comes to the picture. They run the code which is created by your data analyst. They validate the data within the Excel file and they transfer it to the dashboard. If there is an issue with the data, they go to the data analyst or senior manager and they present what's the issue. So this is kind of overview I'm, I'm giving to you right now. If we talk about difference in skill, data analyst needs the skill in Excel, SQL and some kind of uh, visualization tools. Whereas for uh, reporting analyst, you just need the skill of Excel because your main job is to validate the data and you need some kind of presentation skill also because you have to present or communicate your result to the senior management. Now let's talk about the second point and that is why you should see this reporting analyst position as the first stepping stone to be a data analyst. The main reason behind that is that at the deep down you are working as a data analyst. Yes, of course you are not using some fancy tools like SQL, Python or visualization tool but you are still analyzing the data by using Excel. And as I mentioned before also, data analysis is not about using tools, but it's about analyzing the data. So you can put the same position in your resume as a data analyst, which increases your chance to get a job as a data analyst. Now let's talk about number three, and that is salary difference between data analyst and reporting analyst. Suppose say entry-level data analyst is earning around $30 an hour and reporting analyst is earning around 26 or 25 dollar an hour which is around 15 to 20 percent less than the data analyst salary but the main benefit of this approach is that you are increased chances of getting job as a data analyst and which things we want right so if you are someone who is struggling to get a job as a data analyst please try this approach so if you like this video please share with your friend and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video Till then, bye-bye.